What's up YouTube, it's Sir. In this video, I'm just gonna be going over the updates that are coming to Arcane Odyssey. Uh, Vtex just posted kind of like a roadmap of what he plans on adding into the game. So the first updates will start from Build for Cashum, which I read earlier. Pretty much is gonna be a new capture point that they're adding. Uh, finishing, finish adding for Cashum. So basically a new place where players can capture and you know, just like the other areas. Then you got random spawning underwater structures. So maybe this, these are new spots that you can loot and it won't be in the same areas because it says random spawning. Same with random spawning shipwrecks. And I believe these random spawning shipwrecks will let you know where this underwater loot will be. Then you got potions and brewing. I am not sure if they are gonna add the stat reset potions with this, but hopefully they do in the first update because I know a lot of people that have messed up stats and they want to fix it. then we got gem crafting and jewel socket system i don't know what this is 100 percent, but it sounds cool it, and he said it may be moved to a different update and then plus more stuff that will be added here so the next thing that i want to go over is the second updates after the main first update the second updates is more of like the dark sea content which a lot of us want to get into adding the frigid which is a new boat a double deck which sounds really cool and then he's starting dark sea generated content which it sounds like things will just be random it won't be anything set which i love when things are random so it's not like it don't feel the same each time uh we also have dark sea content reward unique ship parts new types of enchant scrolls only found in the dark sea and more so it's like you want to farm the dark sea in the future because it's going to be things that like it says only in the dark sea you got shovel and fishing rod progression I, I don't know what this is but i guess we'll be able to upgrade our shovels and fishing rods and then more rare spells rare techniques and rare weapons in the second update which this will probably be things in the dark sea and then near future updates will be player professions and rewards oh let me read this top thing first the order of these will be determined by community vote so hey stay in touch with vtex on what he's doing because he's letting the community decide on which things are coming first player professions and rewards clan buildings on captured islands start of the nimbus sea story which is basically the second sea of arcane odyssey uh will probably be started in may after this story dang that's really soon that's actually in like two months that he'll be starting developing this or he's dropping this i'm not sure arcanian weapons spear weapons and sensing me personally i feel like spear weapons need to be added because vitality builds are low-key trash because they don't have spear weapons and they're kind of unplayable so i probably will be the person a person to vote like spear weapons coming first before this other stuff and then maybe arcane weapons because conjure can at least be played more than uh any vitality build but that's pretty much uh all of the things that he posted in the to-do list if y'all enjoy my content make sure to sub subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell like the video we on the grind of 12k i stream almost every day and i'll see you on the next one peace